Hello. Today we're going to learn about the levels of organization in the human body. If you are watching this for one of Miss Rose's classes, before we start, make sure you have a copy of the notes. In the human body, and all organisms, there's up to four levels of organization. The most basic level is cellular, followed by tissues, organs, and organ systems. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the definitions and types of each of these levels of organization. The most basic level in that all um, all things have, all, an, or all living things have, is the cellular level of organization. And cells are simply the basic unit of structure and function in the body. It's the simplest thing, it's the simplest form of life that can exist is it's a singular cell. Now in the human body we have billions of cells. Now most things that have more than one cells eventually develop something called tissues. And what tissues are are a group of cells that perform a, singular, a single function. And in the body we divide it into four categories. Epithelial, connective, nervous, and muscle tissue. Next, we're going to talk about each of these four types of tissues in detail. Epithe epithelial tissue is the tissue that covers parts of the body. So this includes glands and all of the tissues that cover the internal and external surfaces of your body. So your skin is an example of an epithelial tissue. The lining of your intestines is another example of an epithelial tissue. The lining of your stomach is another example of an epithelial tissue. While epithelial tissues cover things, connective tissues support the body and connect body parts. So bones are an example of a connective tissue because they provide the support structure for your body. Tendons and ligaments connect bones to bones and bones to muscles. And blood, even though it's a liquid, is an example of a connective tissue because it allows, um, say, nutrients to move through your body. So it essentially connects your cardiovascular system to the rest of your body, and it connects your digestive system to the rest of the body. The next type of tissue that we're going to talk about, and this will be the first one that we go into detail about this year, is the nervous system tissue. And the nervous system, the nervous tissue transmits nerve impulses through the body. Um, nervous tissue is found in your nerves, um, your spinal cord, and your brain. The last type of tissue we need to talk about is muscle tissue. And muscle tissue is any tissues that allow the body to move. Now, when we think of muscles, we usually think of the muscles, the skeletal muscles of our body, like the muscles in your arms and the muscles in your leg. But there are many other muscles in your body. For example, your heart is a very important muscle. Um, and most of your digestive tract has muscle associated with it that allows food to move through it. So once you get multiple types of tissue working together, you have an organ. So an organ is a group of different tissues that perform closely related functions. For example, your heart is made of mostly muscle tissue but it also has connective tissue and nervous tissue in there, as well as epithelial tissue. The same thing goes for your lungs, your pancreas, and your brain. Once organs start working together, you have an organ system. And an organ system is a group of organs that perform closely related functions. So for example, an example of an organ system would be your entire nervous system, or your respiratory system or your cardiovascular system. Multiple organ systems work together to promote something called homeostasis. Um, homeo means like, and stasis means the same. So homeostasis is, a, is essentially a word meaning staying the same. And the way, another way that we could describe homeostasis is the process by which organisms keep their internal environment stable despite changes in the external environment. So for example, um, human body temperature is around um, 98.6 degrees. 
but when you walk outside in the winter here in Michigan, it can be 30 degrees out. So homeostasis is the process by which your body tries to keep your body temperature up around 98 instead of dropping down to 30. This is why you start shivering, um, why you'll start moving around trying to stay warmer. If you have any questions, feel free to give me um, a holler during normal school hours, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.